Okay, so welcome back again to another video. In today's video, we're going to look at how to place the text behind a moving object as you have seen in other video editors. Now, there are two types of ways that you can do that. One is using rotoscoping mask, which is more advanced and time consuming. Another one is simply using some effects that are already here in Caden Live. So, we're going to look at that um, example of using the effects already here and in the next video, we're going to look at uh, how to use the rotoscoping which is time consuming. So here we got a video clip, so let's just bring this video clip down to the timeline. And uh, as you can see, there's a person with the bike here. So let's just go to where he, dis he appeared here and uh, trim this um, clip, bring this out here and when he disappeared from the scene, let's uh, use X to cut or trim. Just simply trim from here down and then select and delete that. And now what we need to do, as you can see, I have already created the video track tree, which in by default is only have two video track, video track one and two. So what we can do now is to select this. That's the main idea. Select this and copy this or duplicate this two times. So that's copy and paste this. And we want to paste this on the top, which is the video track tree. So you need to have two of the same video clip when you trim this one you have to have exact same video clip otherwise your clip will be showing different part of the uh, video so you have to have the same one here and then we go to the text i've already created the text let's just bring this and place it on the timeline in between the two clips now again this one we're going to use the effects already here so let's go to the effects the first effects is uh, luma key now, if you are in the main video effects and you come here, you can see the Luma keys under Alpha Mask and King, but it is not there. So you can always set here or go to the All Video Effects. And under All Video Effects, you can see Luma key. So select the Luma key and apply to that. As you can see already, um, we have the text somehow there. So what we can do now is to remove the text, all of the text from the screen. So. From here in the properties in the threshold, we just want to remove that all the way down. Now, the next effects to use for this is the secondary color effect, which is also under the alpha mask and king. So what you can do is um, select the secondary color correction here and uh, bring it and apply to your video clip. As you can see, it did something there and this is where the magic comes in. So here, the important thing is to know the color of the object that you want to place the text behind it so you can see the person the color of the person is black or some kind of dark gray something like that so you can see already here the part that is black which matches the person uh, the text cut through or the color cut through it as you can see from here so what we can do you have to use the color picker here and then select the part or you can select the person itself because that's what we want to place the text behind that and since this mountain is having the same color as the person, we just need to move this text somewhere up here. So let's go to the effects again. And this time let's go to the transform distort and perspective and select the uh, transform here and apply to your text, not apply to the clip on the top, but apply to your text and selecting the text. Now let's move the text somewhere up over the mountain, something like that. And now you can see the text is nicely placed behind this person here. Okay, so from there, let's select our text again. Now, if you want to leave if your background of the person is uh, black, and if you want to leave it like this, it's okay. But with other colors, you have to do some settings. So let's go to the uh, secondary color settings here. Again, the color we just select using the color picker. In the color model, let's uh, leave it as uh, red, green, and blue. And then the shape, we want to change the shape to box to nicely cut around as the box. And then in the edge mode, uh, we want to have it as hard so that anything that is cut through in other colors, you can fix this by using the hard. And um, in other colors, you have to use the uh, red hue delta and green chroma delta or other settings here to remove those things. So just play around with this. But here it's only black, so already done nicely here. So that's the first example, uh, looking at how to use the effect. Let's try another video clip again instead of using this black color. Let's go for something like the green lip. So again, select all this clip by shift and then click anywhere on the track and then 
you do a rubber selection here and we can hit the delete button go to the project bin and let's bring this uh, clip down which got some green color there come with audio so right click and ungroup and delete the audio there and we do the same process so we want to copy a jet video clip on top here so uh, right click and uh, you do copy and then you can paste here and uh, bring this up here and then let's bring our text in between again okay so now let's apply the luma key so go to the effects and then look for the luma key under alpha mask and king so luma key here and um, once we do that you can see our text is already there so let's uh, reduce or remove the threshold to zero and all the text is being disappeared from the screen and then let's um, move the marker somewhere here to have these two ladies out here and then let's use again the secondary color here to apply to that and as you can see the text comes back again but it's kind of cut through so what we need to do is use the color picker here and just pick the color of the green leaf but you want to pick this one or you can pick the one on as long as you can pick the text now here again we want to change this to box as we did in example here and then hut so any hut space there and then um, again we go to the uh, red hue delta uh, so bring this one all the way to 1000 and then the green chroma delta bring this to 1000 and you can see it nicely placed there and the two ladies are now in front of that so simply using the settings here you can apply but take note it's only applied to certain colors but not most of the colors so you try them out if one of them fit if not then the next video will show how to use the rotoscoping mask so come again for the next video and now uh, you learn more on how to do this in the next video so thank you again for watching and um if you have not subscribed please do so and um yeah see you back again in another video